seest horses and chariots and the people more than thou. Be not afraid of them. Be not afraid of them, my people. For the Lord thy God is with thee. We're with thee. Which oh, brought man. thee up out of the land of Egypt. That's the most high did that read. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle, that the priests shall approach and speak unto the people. And say what? And shall say unto them, Hear, O ye Koroa, Hear this. Ye approach this day unto battle. We approach this day unto battle. Against your enemies. Against our enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Okay. Fear not. We are okay. And do not tremble. Okay. Neither be ye terrified because of them. Okay. That's how it is. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies. That's right. To save you. That's right. To save us from our enemies. To fight for us. The Most High loves us so much. He ain't praying. So we're going to get Exodus 15 verse 1. Book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 1. Then sang Maui unto the children and the children of Ikaroa. So I'm, say, I'm saying this. Our Tupuna Maui are saying this to the children of Ikaroa. Read. This song unto the Lord. We're singing this song unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord. We're singing unto the Lord. For he hath triumphed gloriously. He's going to triumph glor gloriously and he has. Read. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Boom, all of them. Read. Verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song. This is the song we sing. Read. And he is become my salvation. That's right. Read. He is my God. He is my God. Read. And I will prepare him an habitation. My that Father's God. We've prepared him this habitation. Kaiko has prepared for the most high power's words to get spoken out in front of all the people. Read my father's God. Read my father's God. That's right. And I will exalt him. And we're here to exalt Yahweh. Read. Receive. The Lord is a man of war. What is he? The Lord is a man of war. He's a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Oh, praise to the right side, my brother. It was just a little song I wanted you to know. Uh, Leviticus 20, uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 1, and Exodus 15 and 1. Because those are important because you go to Revelations. Hang on, get it. Revelations 15 and 3. It's exactly the same as um, Exodus 15 and 3. Okay. Yeah. Revelations chapter 15 verse 3. And they sing the song of Maui. What song did we just sing? The song of Maui. The Exodus 15. We were singing that song. The Lord is a man of war. So this is in the book of Revelations. This is the song we're meant to read. Sing at the end days. Keep reading. The servant of God Read. and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are their ways, thou King of Saints. That's right. The King of the Saints is the most high power, Yahweh. And according to the scriptures, the saints are meant to be singing the same song Maui was singing. And we're the only king in the world who's singing about Maui. So get that into your minds. Let's sing some more about Maui. <laughs> well, let's read that one more time, brother. Three, yeah. Three. 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 Chapter 15, verse 3, book of Revelations. And they sing the song of Maui. This is what we're singing. We're singing the song, song of Maui. Read. The servant of God. Now, he's the servant of the Most High. Read. And the song of the Lamb. And the song of the Lamb, meaning of the commandments of Christ. Read. Saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Great and marvelous are the works that the Most High left for us. Lord God Almighty. Ooh, that's right. Just and true are their ways. Mm. Thou King of Saints. Keep reading. Verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? That's right. For thou only art holy. Mm. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments 
are made manifest. Read. Verse 5. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. So it, this testimony that we're bringing out, the teaching and style that we're bringing out, has been opened and it's here to be shared to our people. And that's the milk we got. That's the bread we got. That's the honey. That's the uh, wine. And the fire. Nobody's got our doctrine. And we can prove it right now by going to Isaiah 41 verse 1. Let's bring it down. Do you want to take over? song of Moses read and let the people renew their strength so we're gonna um, since Mo Moses days since Maui we've been renewing our strength to the state read let them come near let them speak let us come near together to judgment to what to judgment so that's why we're here for the people on the islands we're meant to come near and then let them speak we're meant to speak for the most high for judgment the judgment day can you get um, uh, Genesis 49 verse 1? Can you read that one more time, my brother? Because we're going to get in deep in it. Chapter 41 verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Mm -hmm. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. So this is for the end days, read. Genesis chapter 49 verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. What did Jacob say? Gather, Gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. So this is what we're doing. Gathering ourselves together. Read. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the what? That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So we're going to tell you what's going to happen in the last days. And that's judgment. So these people on the islands are the ones who's going to tell you what's happening. Can you read Isaiah 41 verse 1 one more time? Book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 1 mm -hmm. uh, Keep silence before me, O islands And let the people renew their strength Let them come near, then let them speak Let us come near together to judgment Read Isaiah 41 verse 8 But thou, Ikaro, art my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen The seed of Abiha, my friend 20. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. The islands at the end of the earth. And called thee from the chief men thereof. That's what we're singing, Maui song, read. And said unto thee, Thou art my servant. Who are we? Thou art my servant. Who is Maui? Thou art my servant. Read. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Can you get that? Verse 20. That they may see. That you may see. And know. And know. And consider. And consider. And understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this. So this song that's getting played right now is a mar marvelous wonder that these people don't understand about prophecies. And the Holy One of Ikaroa hath created it. This is being created, manifested into reality. Can you get um, 22? Can you keep reading? Produce your cause, saith the Lord. So we're here to produce the cause, this, this song. Read. Bring forth your strong reasons. We're bringing forth our strong reasons. Saith the king of Kupe. That's right. Read. Isaiah 41 verse 22. Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. So that's what us people on the islands and us chosen men of Ikaro to Kaitanifa. What are we here to do? Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. So we're going to show you what's going to happen. Read. Let them show the former things. The former things, how it was in the ancient times with our language, our nationality, our heritage, our customs and our culture. Read. What they be. This is how it was, I'll tell you. Read. That we may consider them. You may consider us. And know the latter end of them. We're going to show you the latter end of the enemy. Read. Or declare us things for to come. Read. Show the things that are to come hereafter. That we may know that Ye are gods. Yeah, do good or do evil. What was that? Yeah, do good or do evil. So, the Most High has given us the green light to do good. 
good is doing his righteous acts and evil meaning putting judgment and darkness upon you. 13 verse 40. Oh, can you read it one more time? Show the things that are to come hereafter. So we're going to show the things that are coming in the future. We're prophets, read. That we may know that ye are gods. That we are what? That ye are gods. That we are what? That, that ye are, are gods. gods. So that ye may know. So I'm teaching you that ye are gods, my father and my people. The Most High's got a, the Most High's telling me to tell you that. Read. Yeah. Do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. These fellows are going to be dismayed. And they're going to behold it together when they find out where the true children of the Most High and that they're walking on stolen land. Read. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. So, everyone who ain't teaching what we're teaching is of what? An abomination. You're an abomination unto the Lord if you ain't teaching this song of Maui. Can you read that, brother? Book of Second Nitrus, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanasa, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Atia, read. And he carried them over the waters. Carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. They went to another land. Verse 41. But they took this counsel among themselves mm -hmm. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. We're going to leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Where what? Where never mankind dwelt. Let's get Isaiah 41, verse 1. We're going to go find out. You keep reading. Find out where never mankind dwelt. Verse 42. That they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. So. Um, according to the scripts, the ten tribes of Ikoro of Israel uh, went to a, another land, and when they got to that land, they said, Oh, we're going to go to another land where never mankind dwelt, so we can practice our kawa. So we're going to find out where that island is. Read. Isaiah 41, verse 1. Keep silence before me, O island. Verse 8. Isaiah 41, verse 8. But thou, Ikaroa, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abiha, my friend, thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. So he's talking to the islands where never mankind dwelt at the ends of the earth, read. And called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. What? Thou art my servant. See how I'm going around with the song? The song is like, a, it's going to loop. If it doesn't loop, it's not part of the program. It's not part of the I the funk in my mouth. The incredible hold my cool star. Why I keep the funk with my mom. The incredible my cool star. Why I keep the funk with my mom. The incredible lyrical and original.